Hey guys, welcome to the Sunshine Island offer where you can get about $130 at the moment for getting to level 40, though I would actually prefer getting to level 30 because that's the optimal level, right? Now you basically just play this game, which is basically, it's very idle. It, you just build up resources, you turn some of those resources into other things, and then you put it on this board here and you turn it in for experience. Click on this board thing. Click on this, you get experience, right? This star is experience, and you get that experience and you get to level 40 or 30. I prefer 30. I just did not want to get to 40. It was not worth it. So getting level 30 is probably the best option, which is a little bit less, which is $110, but it spends way less time. Okay. So that's what you need to do. Um, I'm not going to go over the basics because the tutorial will teach you this stuff, but I'm going to go over some tips that might help you when you do this offer. And you can go ahead and ask some questions if you want um, in the Discord or whatever. Okay, so that's what the offer is. But where do you get the offer itself? All right, I'm gonna explain more about you know what um, the game is about, the game strategy in a second. But in the description of this video, you guys will see a bunch of links. The first one is LD Player, and um, don't do LD Player for this this one. You don't need it, uh, but it's good for other types of offers. Then you have my points, Swagbucks, free cash, GGTU, and cash kick. Um, I'm going to cross out GGTU unless you don't have anything else. Um, you're in some uh, random other country that just doesn't have access to any of these websites, then it makes sense, right? But if you're on my points and Swagbucks, um, the offer is not there yet, but I think it might be eventually. So go ahead and click on these referral links. It gives a couple dollars bonus for both of us. Um, and the free cash is where the offer actually is right now. All right, and it's 130. And Cash Kick uh, is Cash Kick is, is expanding. I'm seeing them expand a little bit more, and they seem to pay out a little bit more sometimes. And you know, there's just an extra website to go to, so it's kind of nice. Um, and there's also another offer on Cash Kick that's similar to this that pays more. So yeah, that's one thing to think about. Okay, click on that referral link here. So let's start with Cash Kick. All right, click on this referral link over here to go to Cash Kick. And an offer that you might consider instead of this one is Family Island, which is a more difficult version of this, of this offer, in my opinion. Right? Um, they have, you have like a six day limit instead of 10 days in sunshine for some of this stuff. And you just need to really push forward in the game and actually know how to play the game. Um, I think this sunshine offer um, is actually kind of like a precursor. Um, episode one versus Family Island, which is episode two. But if you do episode one, it'll be much easier. You'll, you'll know a lot more stuff about episode episode two because a lot of this stuff is the same thing. Not everything though, and that's Family Island has the story mode and you go back and forth, so it makes things a little bit more difficult. Okay, that's Cash Kick. Number two is Free Cash, is where the offer actually is at the moment, but it could be more. Now you have Sunshine Island. Um, you just go to offers. You click on the referral link here, right? and you go all over to the offers click on offers search for sunshine and you might be able to see this at 131 dollars for both android and apple android is pays like one cent more than apple whatever. okay so they're both the same thing um you install the app and that's how you can tell like is it tracking or not right and then after that there's a time limited thing for the first three things which is probably the ones you want to go for they pay the most like 20 40 50 dollars so that's 110 dollars right away right and they have some other stuff uh, below, like reach level two, five, ten, it's whatever. Reaching level 40 is nice, but like, unless you really think it's worth it, I just did not go for the extra 20 because it gets harder to level up as you go for each level, okay? Um, I think the most difficult part is probably level 24 and then level 30 and 26 in between is whatever. 20 days is easy, but you have to do this in 10 days and you just have to really push. You come back every five minutes, every 10 minutes, and eventually every 30 minutes um, to like go and gather resources and then start start like you know, farming more resources. And then you wait and you idle by and wait for another 30 minutes or so um, and come back and do the same thing. It's a farming simulation, RPG, whatever you want to call it. Okay, but okay, 20, 50 days is like 50 days is fine. Right? You're, you're absolutely fine. There's no special tactic to this, but there is some game tactics that you need to know about, right? Okay, so that's uh, free cash. And if you want to see if there's a better offer eventually on Swag Bucks and My Points, you can click on either of these links and they both give a couple dollars bonus. Um, for Swag Bucks, you go to Discover and you go to Games, which I already am on. And you can see a lot of other offers that you might actually want to pick instead of this one. That's up to you. Um, I'm going to show you Monopoly Go. That's probably going to be my next offer to show you guys. 
At Alice's Merge Island Dream, 5 to 15. That's quite a bit. Puzzles and Survival, that was my previous video. Um, this is one of my favorites. Um, I know how to do this stuff now, and you can ask questions on that if you need to. Um, Empire, oh, Empires and Puzzle. This one isn't that good for that. Ant Legion, I forgot to do a video. I did it, and I forgot to do a video on it. And now my account's gone. Merge Dragons is great. Like, there's a whole bunch of other offers you can consider, right? Okay, um, I, I should have videos on like half of them, so. Okay, uh, and then my points is kind of the same thing. You go to deals, you go to category, and go to entertainment, and then you see a whole bunch of stuff. About 150 points is $1, 160 points, or maybe 165 points is $1 if you don't get Visa reward cards. But 150 points is $1 in Visa reward cards. So that's up to you. Um, yeah, like they have a lot of the same offers, but some pays more in puzzles. Some some pays more in my points than swag bucks. All right. Okay, those are where you get the offers. Now, how do you actually play this game? Well, I'm not going to teach you the basics or any too much of the basics. The game will do you. Um, the game will teach you that stuff eventually over time. You unlock stuff as you level up. And your main goal is really just to do one, the market orders here, and you can unlock more as you level up. Um, and they're asking to ask for resources. They want wheat. And where do you get it? The field. Great. They want milk. Where do you get it? The cow shit. Yeah. Great. So this is the wheat field, right? Field. And this is the cow shit. Now, in order for you to um, increase production, in other words, how much milk do you get? Well, if you upgrade the level, um, it'll cost one population and population you get from houses or town halls. So you're like in the beginning, you are given this town hall, which uh, has like happiness bonus and a population. But you can also build um, houses ho in other housing and it increases um, population, but it makes people less happy because it's more crowded. Right? Um, happiness, yeah, it's linked to gold. Like if you have more happiness, the cost for gold goes down. But I found that gold isn't really um, my problem. Sometimes it's a problem, but it's not always the biggest problem. Um, usually the biggest problem is just getting them uh, resources or right, balanced out. Okay, so as you go on, you're going to have a lot of different buildings um, under farming and you're going to have more resources and more, some of these resources you combine to make other resources. So for, for example, this bakery, you need to you need this bakery to build bread. Um, in order to, for you to build this bakery, it requires some gold and some like hammers or something that you get from these market orders. All right. Um, but also, um, it's not here because I started a new account, but some there's also... Uh, what do you call it? The sea planes and stuff. So, okay, let me show you. If I want to upgrade this and I want this nail, obtain from market orders, which is the board I just showed you, sea planes, which is like a set of like three or five or more um, items that you need to complete. And then you get a whole bunch of like cameras and nails and some other stuff um, back. Or the cargo ship, which is, yeah, it's kind of like sea planes, but a little bit different. Okay. Um, basically, you just want to get these items, and there's going to be more types of these items, like screwdrivers or something like that. I forgot. Well, oh, not screwdrivers. It was pens. Pens, skill books, because um, it's eventually going to be a building that researches um, how to increase production, like increase how much wheat you get, how much milk you get each time you ask for it. Um, and then, you know, you, you create cow feed from feeding. Like, it's a whole system, right? Once you get down the system, you just come back every five minutes for a while in the beginning and after a while you come back every 10 minutes towards the middle and after a while you just come back every 30 minutes towards the middle to the mid end part um, and you just gather more resources you just say make and you start making it and you just wait for time now you can spend these uh, gems on speeding stuff up if you want to it really doesn't matter what you spend it on as long as it's helping you get um, a lot of this gold resource and experience so you get your experience for completing orders on any of the three things the, the market board the sea train the sea the cargo plane um and what was the other name again the uh cargo ship there we go i i get those confused sea planes not sea ship whatever okay basically that's all you need to do and but if, you, if things get more complicated as you level up these market orders will require you to have more other types of resources here and so if you don't have that type of resource and you have like four market orders wanting that one type of resource for example if i don't have wheat but they keep asking me for wheat for all one two three four i might just go and redo this so if i click on this it's going to show me a different order which is awesome right um, having a different order is uh we'll have different items now right now i only i can only produce these two items so they're not going to change the order too much but um 
you want to kind of balance it out between what you have and what you uh, what they're asking for. You can restart it, but eventually, um, when you click on this button, it's going to take like five minutes for this to refresh to another order. And even at a, at a higher level, it'd be 10 minutes and a higher level would be more minutes. So um, you want to be, be careful with this, right? Um, your I ideal situation is to be to have an even amount of everything, but that's really hard to do. Okay. Now, if you have an overflow, and this is the reason why I don't think gold is that important. Um, so if, you, if I just go here, you guys can see I have like 11 out of, 11 out of 125. If I produce this um, and I get 15, I'm, I'm going to sell the excess amount, which means if I have 125 and I make this and I collect it, I'm going to be forced to sell it for gold. Okay. And that's one way to get gold. And it's actually kind of nice. Actually, one of my best gold makers is somewhere in the mid levels. You get this ostrich farm and there's a whole bunch of eggs, but you didn't really, you don't really have to use those eggs. Like I just had, I was producing way too many eggs, but they were giving me a lot of gold. So, um, I did not have that much trouble in the gold department, right? Like the market orders, they needed some ostrich eggs, just not, not to the level I was, I was producing it at, even with the planes and stuff. Okay. One other thing you want to think about though, once you produce this, um, you can, you can either upgrade, um, okay. You, there's a limited amount of space, right? As you upgrade, you, you can expand, but as you expand, the amount of resources you need to expand increases a lot. And eventually like it just costs way too much to expand and it's better to just upgrade these um these uh buildings i tend i have like four fields this, i think this is pretty important four fields um towards the middle and i think of four fields is fine i ran out of milk in the middle so that's one of the things you want to think about upgrading milk centers and then yeah those are the main two actually but after a while like as you level up you need more different kinds of resources milk no longer became that important instead you start like going between islands and being like Oh no, everything needs coffee. Well, that sucks. Um, coffee's grown on this island and um, I just did not have enough, like be, it takes 10 minutes to grow coffee and I just not, did not have enough coffee to do all these orders. And they needed orders here. They need orders on the plane. And you know, if, if, the, if you need an order of a hundred on a plane and you have like three orders of coffee on the market order, you might, just, you might as well just like refresh both sides, right? You just refresh both of them. Um, or all three orders on here because you already need a ton of coffee over here. However, sometimes you just really need that uh, to upgrade these buildings. You really need that hammer or you really need that nail or you need that pen. Whatever that random item is you need for the building, you can't give up. In which case, you have to really focus on... Um, you can maybe focus on some of your gems on like increasing production of coffee if that's what you needed because um, you're going to be stuck, right? Like, that's what gems are for. If you're stuck and you absolutely need the thing that they're giving you in the board, um, then yeah, you can just start using gems for that. Other than that, I wouldn't use gems. Um, they're, they're just there to like bail you out of a situation where you need so much of this one resource and you don't have it and it takes so much time. Maybe it takes 30 minutes, maybe it takes 60 minutes, whatever it is. That's what I use my gems for. Okay. Now, uh, as you expand, I think there's like a mine here as well. You try to balance things as much as possible, but you also, having too much of one resource is never terrible. It's just that you need to focus on the resource that you don't have. However, excess resources is also necessary for extra gold, right? Because one of the things that you need for everything is gold. And so purposely having too much of one resource is actually not bad. However, one thing that I, um, that I didn't realize was there's a warehouse and you can increase the max, max capacity per item because at a certain level, you're going to need to increase your warehouse to keep up with the market order. Like right now, um, it needs like six of these wheat, but at some point you mean like 300 and something of that wheat and you need, you need to upgrade their warehouse because the maximum amount of wheat you have is 125. So you need to upgrade it once, upgrade it again. Um, it doesn't cost that much, but um, don't forget to do it. I forgot to do it, so um, that was not good. Okay, guys. Um, I think that's it. There's not much else to say about this. Just come back every five minutes in the beginning. I come back every 10 minutes in like the middle and every 30 minutes towards the middle-ish end and you can set a timer if you want. Um, and you should eventually, because each time you do a market order and each time you do a cargo ship order, whatever it is, you get experience and you level up and level up and level up. I tried searching the internet for like free items, links and stuff, but I could not find any. So I think this is a pretty simple game for 
um, just an idle tycoon sort of uh, game. Okay, guys, that's the offer. If any questions, go and ask. Um, I don't think it's that complicated. It's fairly idle, uh, except you, know, you come back, do a whole bunch of stuff, and then it becomes idle. Right? Um, so it's like semi, semi AFK, something like that. And I don't know, that should be it. So let me know how it goes, and I'll see you guys in the next offer, which might be Monopoly Go. See you in a bit.